Whoever wants to increase his risk and to live a long life should honor ties with his blood relatives, blood relatives. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله following the protocol let us just start on with the listening to one hadith which speaks about the virtue of honoring and sending the rood upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That be, it be a reminder that the one who sent once in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal will shower him with ten messages. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad salatan wa salaman alayka ya Rasul Allah. Viewers of Madani Channel, again with the favor of Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal, we are honored again to have Mulaqa to meet, wherein we are still discussing family matters. Wherein we are reminding ourselves about that gift which Allah SWT gave us in name of a family, because if you want to put it in simple terms we are going to say that a family is a gift which allah rabbul jalal bestowed to each and every one of us so it's a gift so we need to look it from there from among is the favors of which allah in uh, bestowed upon a human being it is also this the favor of a family let me just on start on to say that in this life there is a principle wherein if somebody knows the good of something he put you know the way we work for money all of us we know the virtues the fabail, the thamara, the fruits of having money. That's why when we work, we work extra hard to obtain money. And if it is become apparent to us that any certain animal is an enemy, whenever we hear that this animal is around the vicinity, I think it is wisdom that people they will run away and they will save. So today we want to look at the virtues, the importance, the benefits, the thamara of joining family relationships of maintaining family relationship. What are the virtues? What do you get if you maintain the family ties? So there are many, many virtues. We are not going to do justice to go one by one, but inshallah, no bza, we are going to select some of the important virtues of maintaining family relationships. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad salatan wa salaman alayka ya Rasulallah. So now we are about to start number one, silatul rahm to maintain the family tie. Shi'arul iman, it is a sign of iman. You know, to, to, to say that you believe in Allah, Rabbul Izzatul Jalal, ma alama to iman, what are the signs of iman? Because iman is like a seed which you plant inside your heart, but its fruits are visible to the entire world. And whatever you, what is in your heart, people, they won't know of it. We only know of your iman through how you interact with the people. This is very, very important. So what is ma alama to iman? What are the signs of iman? The Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam many a hadith he did enumerated to us other things which will point to the signs of iman that the iman of this person is good or the iman of this person is sound or safe is increasing or decreasing. There are things which will need to you see. There's no in a scale where you go by a shop you say that no put me on a scale I want to 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 weigh my iman no. So the scale which the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us to weigh your iman there are certain scales. So from among these things, the Holy Prophet sallallahu he said, Man kana yu'minu billah, the one who believe in Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal. Now he goes the test, that, that, that red litmus paper, to test that this iman, is it true? It was just only to say, you know, to claim it's easy. But now to, 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 to follow up, to, to sustain your claim, that is very, very hard. So the Prophet sallallahu is telling us, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir. The one who believe in Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal in the last day, number one, he should honor his, his, his guest, he should honor his neighbors. From among these things, the Holy Prophet sallallahu then mentioned that فَلْيَصِلْ رَحْمَهُ He need to maintain family ties. The word, again, we did explain in the previous episode. The maintaining which is being mentioned here, 
is that he, whenever they want to break it, he is the one to maintain it. Somebody said it beautifully that the, 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 the family relationship, they are not made to be sweet, of course. As we normally say that it is the wish of Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal that in this dunya, he never made anything to be smooth flowing. There is nothing smooth flowing in the dunya because it's Darul Ibtila. Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal, even money, sometimes it's up, down, business. So also family, there are sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's sour. So somebody said it beautifully. He said that family relationship and welding, they are the same. It's only that welding, there is sparks, then join for the rest of the life. But for the family, there is join first, then sparks for the rest of the life. So what it means that whenever a family is being set, they shall be quarrels. This is the norm. It's a norm. It's healthy. If a family does not quarrel, that the son is healthy. So they need to quarrel. So when they quarrel, this one here will maintain, even if they want to break away with him. So it's a sign of Iman. The one who believes in Allah, Rabbul Izzatul Jalal. So what he must do? Let him maintain the family relationship. When people break away from him, he is always, always, always be like a welder to join and to glue and to cement the family. So one characteristic the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tell us that we need to know and we need to measure our Iman is that are we angry, are we quick to break away from the family? So if we break away from the family, it is a sign to show that there is a default, in there is a, a, a lacky, lacking, I mean, on our Iman. So Allah Habib, Sallallahu Ta'ala, ala Muhammad, I think the second virtue, this is especially the people of business, and the majority of us, I think this one here, we like it. It is being mentioned by the scholars that now, Suilatul Rahm, to maintain the family relationship, it's what? Sababu li ziyadatil umr. It's a reason for a prolonged life. Nowadays people, they want prolonged life. Make dua for prolonged life. We want this. And not only like that, in the increment of risk. Uh, to maintain the family tie, it is a one of the reasons for one to have a prolonged life and to have his risk being granted in silver plate. We need to explain to this. Whenever we talk about a prolonged life, People, they need to understand what is a prolonged life. What is baraka in as far as life is concerned. Yani, if we want to look at our pious scholars, our predecessors, you find that what they used to do with their lifespan, majority of us, even if we give a thousand lifespan, we cannot do. Because Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal grant baraka in their lifespan. You will go for Imam Shafi'i, you go for Abu Hanifa, Imam Al-Nu'man Ibn Al-Thabit, you find that these scholars, they had ordinary, ordinary, ordinary. Their lifespan was not a thousand years. It's just ordinary, which will have got uh, some of us, sikiste, 40. These are the ordinary. But what they've done in those 40 sikiste, I bet and I guarantee that if we want to multiply some of our lifespan, join and put them together, what they achieved in those 40, 60, 50 years is very hard and it will be sometimes impossible for us to grant it. So the reason and the secret was why Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal give, gave them a meaningful life. Whenever we talk about a prolonged life, it's not, it's not number, it's not qu qu quantity. Normally we say in business, you know, if sometimes I make dua, I pray to Allah SWT that if we use our business uh, at the tactics, in as far as our religion is concerned, we always excel. Because in business, we normally make sure that we use this type of tactics, like there's an aphorism which go like, not uh, it's not quantity but it's rather quality so their life is not quantity it's not number that you can be in the time of the Nuh, nabi no alayhi wala nabi jina salam the people used to live there for a thousand years but the majority of the people they never believed unto him that thousand years was gone da but they are it was wasted so the life to be meaningful and we say that it's a long life it's that life even if it is short it's longer enough if allah rabbul izzatul jalal grant baraka in that life Whatever they do, yani, it can be seen even in generation and generation and generation and generation and generation and even after their demise. You will see that is a long life which we are talking about. So the Holy Prophet Sallallahu is telling us that the one who want a long life, who want to be long life, of course, of course it has got many meaning. It can mean a long life that Allah SWT can give you, yani, also the, what you call this, uh, and some numbers, and so including those numbers, also it, they have got in it baraka. Because there's no need of to sing a long life, then you are suffering in that long life, you are suffocating, it will be a punishment. But rather, we are talking about 
a long, prosperous, and um, a meaningful life. That is the word, actually, the meaningful life. So what must he do? The Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying, "For Anna Anas bin Malik, on authority of a Sahaba by the name Anas ibn Malik, radiyallahu taala anhu, Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is said, 'Man ahabba the one who loved that Allah subhanahu wa taala prolonged his life and also to increase his sustenance. What must he do?'" For the Yasul Rahmahu, you need to maintain the family ties. Maintaining the family ties. Really, logically, also it makes sense because, for example, you, you are the captain. You know, talk about somebody who maintain. Maybe you are the breadwinner and uh, the people are under you and you are providing for the people. So by, by us seeing from the logic perspective point of view, you deserve more so that you can keep on saving these people. You are like a pillar to the family. When the pillar is being taken away, then the whole family is a building, is a structure to collapse. So those type of personnel, Allah Rabbi Jalal, normally pull them, normally increase them. Even the sustenance is being mentioned because there's an hadith in Riyadh al Salihin, Imam al Nawawi uh, put in the record of the, this hadith whereby there's this man, he had his brother, just the summer, the khulas of the hadith. So his, his, his things, his way of life was made easy. I and mean, I'm talking about his ends. I and mean, of course, nowadays we say ends to meet. No one will say that my ends are meeting. Just being born in this type of sayings or being said. But nevertheless, it was on a smooth flow. So he had the quarrel with, the, with, the, with, the, with this relative, be it a brother of his. So he decided to take him away. After he, he took him away, then things started to scramble. Then he did go to the Prophet Sallallahu Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, maybe you were being given sustenance because of your brother. Just look at here, the sustenance of others. Because if you are 10, Allah Rabbi Zatul Jalal, of course, you will have to go to, 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 to facilitate for 10 people. You are 3, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will facilitate for 3 people. That's why also our, 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 our ulama used to tell us that if you have got a good intention, you marry, you make nikah, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will increase your sustenance. Because why? Because now it's 2 people coming. Maybe if, um, uh, Baraka again being prolonged, maybe three, four, five with the children. So the more the in, in increase in the member of the family, the more the sustenance is increased. This is something which is easy to say and we need to understand also from it as well. So the one who wants his lifespan to be prolonged and his sustenance to be granted in a silver plate, and he, also to have Baraka in his sustenance, let him maintain the family ties. Let him maintain the family ties by it feeding his family people and sharing with them and by it sheltering them this will bring the family as a unity it will make more love and things to grow so the point i think it is driven home that the one who want his lifespan to be prolonged by allah SWT, to have a meaningful life in this dunya to have his sustenance to be granted in a silver plate so what must he do he need to maintain the family relationship from among the commandments which are uh, nabi musa was given those early commandments. We say that this is the pivot for, for, the, for, for religion. From among them is that you should honor your mother and your father, your parents, so that your days on earth can be increased. Same. It's the same point which we are mentioning here. So we make dua to Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal that he will give us the jazba, the enthusiasm to, I mean, as we have studied this silsila, I did mention a principle that if we come to know the goodness of something, we will work hard. Of course, we know all of us the goodness of money day in and day out. Just look at how we exert and how we put the effort for us to achieve money because we know the thamara, the fruits of money. So now today we are learning now the thamara, the fruits of family relationship. So I think it must be a drive for one and all to work more hard now to maintain. I think after this uh, episode, it will, be, it will make me more happy if viewers of Madani channel, those people of cut with their family ties, you pick up the phone, try to make amends, try to apologize. It is the field of apologizing. Don't wait when the time is late and the final whistle is being blown. Then you say, oh, Allah SWT now return me to the dunya. I want now to go and speak with my cousin. The time is now. So inshallah, as we said, that there is no any a family which is just smooth like a milkshake. It's in every family. There are some quarrels. There are some squabbles. But the good people, as we said, that those with Iman, they are those who try to uphold and to connect till the last breath. So that was virtue number two.
just summarizing. Now let us go to number three. Suilatul Rahm, to join the family, to maintain the family ties relationship again. It will give birth to what? The one who maintain the relationship, this is another advantage. Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal maintain a relationship with him. A very big point. I hope and pray to Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal. You know, they say that it takes wisdom to understand wisdom. Just listen to here. The one who maintain the relationship, Allah will maintain a relationship with him. The one who maintain with his relationship, the relationship is family, his or her family. You maintain the mother-in-law, the daughter-in-law, those things, they need to be maintained each and every time. You have got a phase, extended family, you extend, you expand the horizon. In a business world, no one can get sad if you expand the business. So sometimes, why do we get sad when we expand the family? To be going this one and that one and that one, then it become an extended family. So the more the responsibility, the more also the, the rewards. So just maintain relationship with everything. We are being told here that the one who maintain the family relationship here, Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal will maintain a relationship with him. There is no anything. If the, your relationship is sweet, it means what? A relationship between you and Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal become also sweet. If relationship between yourself and your relationship, the blood relationship of yours, is sour, so how you can maintain the relationship with Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal? You are failing on those things which you see. Yani, and Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal make these people as the, the, the ambassadors, as the, 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 the convoys. You are failing to maintain with your... So do you think that you're going to maintain the relationship with the Muslim brothers? Do you think that you're going to maintain the relationship now between yourself also and Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal? Charity begins at home. Start with your people, your relationship. Those are the people who need to start off with. Then you spread on, you go. So this is very, very important. I make dua and pray to Allah, Rabbul Izzatul Jalal, that this type of words, it must be enough to warn us virtue number four. And the fourth one, as you can see, each and every one of it is an encyclopedia on its own. Swilatul Rahm, to maintain the family tie, من أعظم أسباب دخول الجنة. It is from among us what among us the reasons of entering entering into Jannah. يعني if we say that Jannah have got many many ways to enter into Jannah, from among us the ways there is only maintaining family relationship is one of the reason to go to Jannah. So it's a way to to, to Jannah. You want to, 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 to put your navigation to Jannah right now, make sure that the GPS code maintaining the family, you put it on. You maintain, you maintain, you maintain. That's a road which will take you straight to Jannah. This is just, we need to make it very, very clear. Let us just clarify all the, uh, the doubts that from day one, know that to maintain the family relationship is an act of Ibadah. I think Kafa had a shara. Also, this is a, one of the virtues which is enough, which is self-explanatory. We don't need to explain furthermore. It's an act of ibadah. It's an act of worship. When you talk about act of worship nowadays, people they just think of salah, maybe zakah, and these are all act of worship to maintain itself the family relation. It's an act of ibadah. Why? That's now we are here being told that it's a it's a it's an easy way which will take somebody to paradise. Only maintaining the family ties. You maintain your family ties. It's a way to to to, to paradise. Not also coming from our own. Being said by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Abi Ayyub al-Ansari, the Sahaba by the name Abi Ayyub al-Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, ana rajulan qala ya Rasulallah, a man said to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, oh the Messenger of Allah, akhbir ni, now inform me ya Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the amal with such an act which is very, very, yani little, which is easy, which is easy for me to enter into Jannah. Then the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that, young, uh, oh dear men, you need to worship Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal and don't associate any partners with him. You need to worship Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal alone and don't as, associate partners with, with him. Then number two, make sure that you are regular in your salah. Or to qim salah, establish salah. It's a word of which if it is the silsil of salah, I think that word enough to qim salah is going to be the pivot of this, the talk. But nevertheless, let us skip here and make sure if Allah Rabbul Izzatul Jalal gives you, don't feel to give. The one who gives is always being given. The givers, they spend a blissful night whilst the receivers they spend a blissful day so be from among us who give then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam conclude these all actions with what silatul rahm maintain the family ties 
the one which is being in conclusion because normally when we conclude we want to conclude with a strong point not just saying that it's taking precedence here no it's not taking precedence over 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 the worship of allah but it was being put also last to highlight its important and look at what it was being linked to worshiping allah alone making salah giving zakah also it have got to hang there what maintaining the family ties majority of us this just take it for granted may allah rabbi zatul jalali inspire one and all now number five virtue number five suilatul raham maintaining of the family tie ta'atullahi azza wa jal it's directly obedience to allah rabbi zatul jalal you do not any favor to the to the family you're doing yourself a favor really don't ever move around say no 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 i'm giving them i'm i'm doing them a favor this is you said the record right you're doing yourself a favor because it's an act of ibadah like how oh, you don't move around say no me i was i i've done in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a favor i was making salah no one will say like that because we understand that when you perform salah you are doing yourself actually yourself a favor so this is the game that is the same thing uh, uh, again the rules here in terms and condition are applying here because it's an act of worship it's obedience to allah rabbi zatul jalal ta'atullah you can quarrel with your with your family but at the end of the day know that to maintain to keep on maintaining a relationship with them it is nothing else except that a jute which is binding upon you and this type of jute you see that with what it is coming with the rights of allah performing salah zakah and the holy quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned his rights and what will come next the rights of the parents after that fal aqrabu lil aqrab those people who are near and who are near like that so it's an act of worship to obey and to to oblige by it ta'atullah it is to obey allah rabbul izatul jalal you won't get any loss uh, any loss with that but nowadays we are solo we are solo just only yourself see that's why my my this my this myself my ipad no more talking about this family it's gone those times but people they use just to iblis he was very very uh, from among his, his cunning tricks is what he said to break people away from their families in surah ra'd verse number 21 allah rabbul izatul jalal we said that uh, to, to 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 maintain the families in obedience of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so let us substantiate it allah rabbul izatul jalal he said that walladhina yasiluna ma amara allah bihi ayyu sal those people who join whatever allah commanded them to join those people who join whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded them to join what did allah commanded us to join he did commanded us to join family relationship it was a command from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's why we say that to join it it is an obedient to allah rabbul izzatul jalal directly it is coming from none other than except from it is coming from wahi al quran we make dua in the court of allah rabbul izzatul jalal that with these few words may allah rabbul izzatul jalal make it upon us that we will from now in on onwards if we have something lacking and deficient we will excuse it that we were not away as now we are away we must take it even if you are seeing this silsila wherever you might be just take it as an opportunity that after this silsila terminate and after the, 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 the we finish with this silsila every time take your, your, your phone try to, to to try to make any the amends and try and still there malam you har har as long as somebody is not breathing his last try to maintain the family relationship if you wronged some people try to ask forgiveness from them if they wrong you also forgive them and try to move on some people they are just only shy to say sorry you need to know by the, by the nature but there are some people who need just only to greet people ma alayna illa al balagh al mubin sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad salatu wa salaman alayka ya rasul allah Whoever wants to increase his risk and to live a long life should honor ties with his blood relatives blood relatives